All right, so it's been a while since I just sat down and recorded, but the uh, patch notes came out for Global, and we have a little bit of information of what's coming. I'm pretty sure you guys already know Ragnarok will be released with this update. So this will be around 9 p.m. my time, and then it'll last for three hours, which means for me, it'll end up being on the 20th when it releases, right? Because I'm, uh, you know, on the East Coast. So it released on the 20th which isn't really that long honestly i thought the maintenance would probably be a, like like four hours so i'm really really surprised that it's three but regardless ragnarok is coming so you see my boy prince sigurd is here now he's really good because he can be ran with humans and demons so it's really nice that he can be ran with like both races. So I think that's really, really interesting. So uh, yeah, so he will be coming with the update along with Lost Vein in Thonar, right? So Thonar is the official name of her. So there you go. Um, so chapter one is here, obviously Ra uh, Ragnarok chapter one quest and side story uh, stages. Then you can unlock this by clearing chapter six, episode 110. Um, so you don't want you to do that. Clearing 100% of each chapter's quest will un uh, will be unlocked after Ragnarok Chapter 2 update is released. So it'll be a while before Chapter 2 is released. Uh, may maybe like August, I want to say. So keep that in, you know, just keep that in mind. Now here's the rewards that we'll be able to claim until August 23rd. We will be able to claim the uh, Thonar for free with her costume set, 100 diamonds. So make sure you guys are claiming your rewards, 100 diamonds. 100 diamonds new heroes you already know sigurd melionis and thonar gonna be the new uh banner units now to be completely honest i don't think this banner is worth going for unless you use sigurd for am melee i genuinely do not think you need to summon on this banner lost vein is okay as a support but otherwise he's not that great Thonar is just literally for Belmoth, so it doesn't even matter. And Sigurd, again, like I said, he can be good, but if you don't run Assault Melee Team, then you don't need him. You really don't need him. He's not going to help Bond because he's he's not really that great to run with Bond. So, you know, you don't need him for that. But um, regardless, he is still a really good character. And you can see that they will be here. Here's the new events that will be happening Thonar's pirate costume spin event in Demonic Beast Greon is back. So he's coming back, which honestly isn't even that great. So it is it is what it is, honestly, but it's not that great. Here are the celebration events. So we'll be able to get boosting events for our hero enhanced and ultra super success rates, two times player EXP. Obviously, like I said, spin event in Demonic Beast Greon. And that's it. <laughs> that's really it. And then you have two battle events. And now this is interesting, the World Tree Tower. So Memory of the Earth is released. So this is gonna be a Ragnarok event. So we have to use runes to clear the dungeon. I actually didn't hear much about this mode. So I'm curious to see how to play this, but I don't think anybody's really played it, like made a video on it separately. They might've, and I may have missed it, but I don't remember anyone doing this. So this is gonna be really interesting. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be a dungeon based uh, Ragnarok themed tower, which is pretty interesting. And it'll be divided into three segments, memory of the earth, memory of the heavens, and memory of the nether. That's really, really, I think that's actually really cool. So it's going to really, uh, be released with the update. So look forward to that as well. And then obviously the memory of the heaven and memory of the nether is going to release in a separate notice. But that's really, really interesting. So um, again, I don't know how this works, but it looks like there's only going to be five memories. Hmm. And you have to... You have to beat it to get the guaranteed reward, of course, and it looks like you get gems for beating it, so up to five gems, which is all right, I guess. I I honestly don't know. I actually don't know how to play this, so uh, I, I'm i going to go into it blind, I guess, but that's pretty cool that they're doing that. Here's the exchange shop for the, um, the event. You have, I like this, actually. This is pretty cool. You have a couple of SSR pendants, hammers, super awakening coins, and chalices. So very, very interesting. I guess like you can only buy three, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is, right? You know, I'll take what I can get at this point. And then we also have this. So Grimnir's book, and I assume this is just gonna be like a couple of things you can do for extra cosmetics. I don't know. Um, very weird. 
and then here are the costumes for Sigurd. So here's his uh, his hipster costume. You have is this okay? This is Thonar. For a minute there, I'm like, is this Sigurd? But that's Thonar. Okay, so that's her costume, and then you also have uh, his like royal outfit. So that's really cool. Um, here's the new stuff that's coming with it. All of this stuff. I mean, I don't really care about that because I'm not really planning to spend money on this game. I'm going to be straight up, so I don't really care about that. If you do, there it is, but I don't. Here's two bundle purchase extensions and reset. Uh, okay, that's that's pretty cool, I guess. Limit break material, all in one limit break. So this is pretty much to get your characters to level 90. I mean, sure, if you want to buy it, go ahead. That's really not all that crazy, but if you want to, go ahead. Uh, floor 6 will be added to the Tower Trials. Cool, 30 gems, part 1 and part 2 tickets. Okay, new engravements for Sigurd and Thonar. Season 3 Tavern. Um, and here's the check-in reward for the... Um, for the update this is going to be updated so that's really really nice that they revamped it because it's so so much better than you know our um our login that we have currently as of the you know moment of this recording it's so much better than what we have now so it's going to be a two-day login period which is going to be amazing because we get 20 20 gems within two weeks so that's really good so you get what in these two weeks you can get up to i want to say yeah you can get like 150 gems or somewhere around there because this will give you 20 you do pvp if you get to champion one you get 60 which i always make sure i'm at champion one so that's really nice you can get a lot of gems so i think this is a really good improvement part one and part two tickets is really good as well it's not just going to be part one for the entire week um and so forth so it will be part two tickets so i think that's really nice two times the race draw tickets you know super awakening coins really really good stuff there i like that i really really do like that so um that's good and the biggest well one of the biggest things is the part three banner is gonna be live and this is gonna have a very good pool of characters now gearhard not that great but the rest of them are actually really good units so this is a very very like strong banner and you guys probably should take advantage of this because if you don't the more units that appear on this banner the less of a chance you have to pull like if you don't have chandler the less of the you know chance you have to pull him so i would say go ahead and take advantage if you really wanted to this is actually a good banner so that's really nice um new fort dun uh new fort Solgris coin dungeons so you can use your coins to go ahead and open up the dungeons and get rewards for doing it i heard it wasn't the greatest but you still can if you wanted to so uh yeah uh that's pretty cool i guess and then here you go the time restricted dungeon broken clock tower is changed so instead of it being uh you know one hour it is gonna it's gonna be open for a whole day but you can only do it 15 times which i mean i i guess is you know kind of a cuck but at least it's open for a whole day right so that's pretty good i guess and it's gonna require more stamina so i mean give or take you should you decide if you like it or not and then here's some miscellaneous stuff right here so um that's just talking about sigurd and how his name is changing a lot of things here's some costume changes that had a uh, uh errors there you go and then here's all the ending events and bundles but that is it for the patch notes right for today i'll make sure to go over the you know the actual patch notes tomorrow or maybe i will maybe i won't i don't know but we'll, we'll see we'll definitely see um but yeah I know it's been a while since I just sat down and recorded, but uh, yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, leave a thumbs up, subscribe, uh, leave a comment down below. And as always, you guys already know, I will see you all next time.